will be nailed on favorite Brady Ellison of the USA going up against Yuna right, Sanchez well, of Spain. Now, the athletes coming on deck to the field of play. A classic tale of the tape once again, a young up and comer against an established one of the world's greatest archers ever. Ladies and gentlemen, shooting on target number one. Representing Spain for his World Cup debut, please welcome Yun Sanchez. And his opponent, shooting on target number two. Representing the United States of America, currently ranked world number one. He is the reigning champion of the world. Reigning World Cup final champion, please welcome the one and only Brady Ellison. <laughs> the line judge for this matchup is Tanvir Ahmed. Well, here we go. Uh, David versus Reaper Goliath has been said once so before here in Lausanne. That's this. certainly the case here. World number one from the USA. Brady Ellison is a, an absolute favorite for this. Going up against a young pretender from Spain. He's just 18 years old, Yun Sanchez. Now, Ellison won his first World Cup stage in 2010. Here, he's going for his ninth. He is the world number one. He is the reigning world champion. Nikki, has Sanchez got a chance? It's definitely youth best experience. I think sometimes the underdog's got the uh, lesser pressure, but I probably think Brady's going to be triumphant here. I think you may well be right, and it is Brady Ellison who will shoot first to get semi-final number one underway. No. You could probably put that down to nerves. Eight. Yeah, maybe some nerves, a bit of a long hold coming off a practice field. It might be different to this field. So he's really got to, you know, if that was a good shot for him, trust and adjust, move his sight and hope that this is going to be nearer. Eight. It's near the line though, so it could be a nine. It's been starred as well. All right, let's park him up to 14. That means a seven. He's guaranteed points no. for Ellis, and it's a nine, five which five. puts this set out of reach. Three arrows so quickly for Ellison, and he's coming away with his first two set points. Important arrow for Sanchez here, though. Nine. And a good finish from him gives him confidence well, going set, into the, the, the second set. In favor of the American Archer, Trust uh, and adjust. Pray tell. It's uh, a great saying one. from a former coach the of mine, Lloyd Brown of the USA, in his American accent, trust and adjust. So basically all that means is, like, if you came out here and you shot a really good shot and it went right eight, move your sight. You know, trust what you did, that you just shot a great shot, move your sight, because the faster you can make that change into the ten, the less points you're going to lose. So he had that set to and sort himself out you know he's lost that first one fine but we're going to reset now and he's got a chance to come back so you know get back on it and trust it and go shoot the best arrows you can and just to be clear what we're saying if you shot a great shot some people maybe don't know a lot about archery will say well it's not a great shot it's gone in the eight what you mean is the process that you go through to draw from the drawing of the arrow through to the release the archers want to repeat that time and time again if they're happy with the process and it went into the eight then adjust Great, love that phrase. I think I might be nicking that. Trust and adjust. The Spaniard is behind. He's not the one that we expected here in the final, perhaps. But he is here. He is behind by two. But it's 0-0 zero, zero on the score sheet for set number two. Eight. Well, Dead center. now that is going to be a worry for Sanchez, not just in the 10, not just in the X-ring, on the spider. Nine. And it is getting better for Sanchez, that's for sure, but the problem is Ellison is dialed in. Yep. Ten. Yeah, great shooting now, probably going to expect to see lots of 10s in this match from Brady. Nine. 
Well, you can do the maths yourself, but is Alison going to get a perfect? That's what we were all asking. It's nine. a nine, but a 29 of high quality in his fourth, fifth, and sixth arrows and of the second set there. Uh, four set points Ellison, to zero up. Ellison's going to do this in nine, isn't he? Millimeters away from the spider, it's possible. The um, let's see, you know, Yun might well come back. Um, you know, he's having a chat with his coach there about what to do, what to change. You know, what can he do? What can he learn here? That's what's important. This is a big stage. Come out, and if you don't win, learn. What can I do differently next time that's going to make me better? Get a good view of the, the technique, especially with the front arm there. It looked to me that uh, Sanchez, as he released, his arm dropped down, whereas Ellison is pushing out. Interesting to see if there's a repeat of that in set number three. Could all be done in the next six arrows. Ellison, four set points to nil up. So Yun Sanchez, the 18-year-old from Spain, will shoot first. First appearance in the final four for Sanchez. Nerves play the part at the start, but he's still in it. Seven. Another long hold. I think, you know, he just needs to keep moving. He's chatting to his coach there, getting some confidence from him. Nine. You know, archery is a very dynamic sport. You don't sit at, at full draw static. These archers are very tiny amounts of movement still going, pushing and pulling the bow. Notable that Ellison was disappointed with the nine. It was uh, a little away from his other groupies, as nine. you see, high and right, but still in the nine. So uh, it, it's very, very likely now that Ellison is going to take this in nine arrows. Eight. And all a bit low for Yun Sanchez. Place in the gold medal match. Nine. Yes. It is three nines and a 27 oh to yeah. win it for Brady Ellison by six set points to nil. Look, the second set was absolutely brilliant from Ellison, but there were signs there that there's an opportunity against him today. Yeah, he's not that happy. Obviously, you know, he's not just thinking about this match. He's now thinking about that gold and he wants to come home with gold from this competition. And, you know, he knows he's going to have to up his game in the next match. It's going to be a tough one. So, yeah, he needs to go away. He's got some time now whilst the other semi-final happens and um, just regroup. Um, his positive affirmations that he normally goes through, just get his mind back in gear. Well, the favourite is through to the gold medal match, and that is world number one, reigning world champion Brady Ellison from the USA. The 32-year-old will have his eye on the prize, but also certainly wants to book his place in the World Cup final in Yankton a little bit later on. And it does take the pressure off, doesn't it, winning a stage? It does mean you can relax for the rest of the season. It can do, but, you know, Brady is here to win. You know, he, he ended 2019 winning everything possible with the Olympic Games the next year, ready to go. And there's obviously been this big break. So it's really important for him to come back here, get on top form. He was pushed out very early in Guatemala in the first round that he competed in. He had to buy the first round. So he's got to come back here and prove to himself and everyone else that he is the man this year. Signs of it, but he's not entirely happy just yet. He did do enough to win the semi-final here against Yun Sanchez and Brady Ellison will go for gold later on here in Lausanne. Sanchez will be back out for the bronze medal before that. Not over yet in terms of the semi-finals. The final four did include those two we've seen already. Yun Sanchez of Spain making his first appearance in the final four up against the experienced Brady Ellison, experience winning the day in that semi-final.